It's Jasmine Brand with the jasminebrand.com. I'm here with Lamaya Good. How are you doing? I'm good, girl. <laughs> Excited to see you. I know. We've met again. I can't remember the first time. We met several times, but I think the last thing was an event, um, and it was downtown LA. Okay. And my have a good memory. I, oh, girl. I remember. Renisha. Do you know Renisha? She's a really good friend of mine. Okay. Branding. Probably if I, if I saw her face. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I well, remember. when I was Googling you, we have a million pictures on our side of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. But I, I, we have met before. But I'm excited to see you on the show. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I've watched. I've, I'm caught up. Okay, yeah, I'm, caught I'm, up. I'm caught up. But for those who don't know you, right. who know you from reality TV, from this new show, before the show, what, who were you? What were you doing? Um, you know, I started off in music. Mm -hmm. um, and let me take it back. I really started off in acting, but mm -hmm. music has always been something that was like always in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I had an opportunity. Um, and so I took it, and I was signed to Arista Records with a the R and B group. We did several years with that, traveled the world. Um, then I went back into the acting, and you know I've done some films, some theater, live theater, um, and then you know I met my husband, and I got married, and had a baby. Mm -hmm. So I'm a mommy, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a um, you know, and most importantly, a women's advocate. You know, um, I have a nonprofit with my sister mm -hmm. called For the Greater Good. Yes, and you know, our idea and the concept of it was to really invoke passion and purpose in young women and give them a vehicle and, and be facilitate um, opportunities. You know, and be able to link them with people um, in fields that they may be interested in going into. It's hard when you don't have anybody to look up to any real answers I mean you can google but it's really nice when you have somebody that you admire and you get to have those first hand steps from them like how did you get here how what do I do right and just speaking to young women and, and giving them an opportunity to do something that they may maybe haven't done before you know and, okay. and change their environment okay so fast forward to the day today yes. we have uh, the platinum life on e yes why did we decide to do reality tv because you've been around for a while yeah. you're not new to this game mm -hmm. so w what um kind of appealed to you about doing reality tv you know to be honest and people don't like to hear this you know when it comes to real life but i wanted a platform for our nonprofit. like mm -hmm. at the end of the day i'm tired of begging um, to help students at schools and you know fortunately we do live in a culture where you know things that are popular and people want to be a part of things that are cool or they see yeah. or they can you know put their finger on and so I felt like this would be the right opportunity it made sense I've been approached for other uh, reality shows but I felt like for me this was really fitting and not only that to be um, in the company of other women who are making opportunities and um, you know following their own dreams and their own ideas of success mm -hmm. to me that was enticing to me it's that's what I'm all about and I'm like okay that's dope to be in the company of other women who are like I have my mind set on this this is what I want to do this is what I'm trying to achieve okay were you apprehensive at all for sure <laughs> girl you know, <laughs> for sure right you know I'm not like I don't have a big group of friends like that it's usually just me and my sister and I have a couple of super close friends yeah so being in the in a group with other women for for me in such a large group yeah. was nerve wracking because I'm like, shit, I'm a little older, you know what I mean? Like I'm they, a little. They're around. Some of them around. Yeah, you're older, but I, I feel like I've been in this industry for so long. I've seen it. I've done it. I've hung out. You know, I've been to the clubs, and it's like, I was like, am I ready for that engine again to go out again and be doing shit like you know? And and that was a little, you know. And with choosing friends, you know, it's 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 interesting because, you know, in this group of women, it's like, OK, I've met all of them before, for the most part. The only person I didn't know um, before this or the only two people was really Asia and okay. Nazanin. OK, everybody else I had known before. Mm -hmm. And but to put us all in a group like, OK, let's see what y'all world is like together. Right. Yeah. That was very you know, for me, different. I'm a lone ranger, you know. I'm used to just me and my sister, really, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was a little interesting. Well, and then you have your husband on the show. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are apprehensive about having their significant other on the show. No. Um, you weren't nervous if, at all? No, not when it comes to Eric and I's relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, you know, 
we've known each other for a lot of years before mm -hmm. we even got married. We've been acquaintances for many years, like over 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I felt like we were already putting our relationship out there, you know, on social media yeah. and things like yeah, that. Yeah. And I'm like, this is what we do every day. It's just a different platform. You yeah. know what I mean? And I am most protective of my family. Um, but because of the foundation, it's like, what for what? Be worried for people to see that we love each other the way that we do mm -hmm. and the life that we've made and the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, no, there was one thing. It was like, it was just the right thing, though. We didn't definitely didn't want to be in no mess. I can name, I won't name no shows. Because I was going to ask you, you know, <laughs> you've been around, so I'm, I feel like everyone has probably called you for shows. Yeah. Like, have people called you for, like, the Love of Hip Hops and the... I'll just say the, for other the shows. Housewives and the, all those kind of okay, all definitely right. for other shows. Okay. Yeah, okay. and you know you have to pick what what's best suited, and obviously the R and B world, the music world, right? Um, but from the aspect of the women behind it, yeah, and that are doing their own things, I just you know it was just the right fit. How did you get cast for the the show? You know, it's funny. Um, I had a friend who was a producer. Um, we had actually worked on something for Megan and I. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't think it was the timing. And was it, it was reality. You yeah, reality. Oh, that'd have been cute. Yeah, right. You know, you keep your eyes out. It yeah. might happen. It might happen. Okay. Um, but you know, they were familiar, and it was like, you know, hey, what about her in this fit? Mm -hmm. And so it kind of just came together I went and I met with them and I was like oh that's dope you know what you guys are trying to showcase instead of like you know running instead of focusing on the men so much yeah. it's like I think it's dope that you want to find out what are we doing and what are we making out of these opportunities right and to me I was like okay I, 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 I could do this okay so let's talk about the show mm -hmm. you're you seem to be closest with Crystal yes why did you two sort of click I've known Crystal for maybe like five years, and since day one, she was always um, with me, and I can't speak on other people's experiences, she was always just very transparent, very real. We just clicked, you know? We met at a photo shoot, um, and she was like helping out, and she was just very transparent, I guess, and, and for me, that speaks volumes, so I don't give a hell what anybody else feels about people, I feel like you know people judge people without knowing their circum circumstances you know what I mean yeah. it's like and I'm not saying you know for anybody there's no excuses for whatever behavior but I do feel like you have to get to know somebody and just because somebody else doesn't see the light at somebody the end of somebody's tunnel don't mean you can't right you know what I mean so yeah. I don't judge people like that it's like okay cool you have your opinion and I'm gonna have mine okay gotcha so I'm definitely yeah okay <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait a minute. No, you know, I've had to do it a lot. Yeah, no, because before the show even started, I, I had heard it was like you and Crystal versus Chantel wow. and Asia. Is that how you say yeah, her Yeah, Asia. Asia. So I and then I so I that's what I had heard or whatever and I didn't know I had I knew who you were right I knew who Krista was because other reality shows right um I knew who Chantel not I mean I don't I never seen her I never watched her and Nelly show but right. it was popular um and I never I didn't I wasn't familiar with Asia so I was like oh this is gonna be entertaining right um so I'm all caught up I feel like I am okay <laughs> so um and I feel like it kind of sometimes looks like that like I was told uh -huh, uh -huh. um. So my question to you is, I was watching an episode, and I think Chantel and Asia said that Crystal's behavior is a little different when you're not around. Right. Did you see that at all? Um, that her behavior is a little different? No, I feel like, um, I mean, I didn't get that. I feel like that, that whole situation to me from their standpoint was manipulated okay somebody's cool but you didn't invite them to other you've excluded them from things you know what I mean uh -huh. and to me it's just funny to want to put it on me you know and make it look like I'm messy and you know right. for defending my friend if she's not present now it's so funny how how um, you know media and, and people are because it's like if I don't defend her you're not a loyal friend but if you defend her, then you messy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Some people got to use your brain. Wait a minute. But did you blame media for that? 
No, no, no. I'm saying, no, when I say media, I mean, like, uh, people on social media, oh, people okay. who are watching consumers. Got, got you know, okay. yeah, they look at it, and I'm, I'll be reading some of the comments. I'll be laughing, like, baby girl, you got to use your brain. Now, if your friend was being excluded from stuff. Yeah. No, I definitely, I, I would yeah. say, well, where's. Right. Yeah, I would. And I it's would. like, or if somebody just, you know, hop up in the situation, or uh, hype about your friend, you're going to be like. Yeah. Girl, good night. <laughs> You know what I mean? And you're going to let your friend know, just so you know. Right. So I felt like, you know, to make it seem like I was, you know, putting something in her ear. No, nigga, I'm just saying what we're saying. <laughs> like, right. she wasn't there to hear it. Right. Okay. Um, let's talk about this dinner, because I watched, right. I watched um, on an episode, I watched everyone came to dinner to celebrate... Um, Say her name for me, please. Um, Nazanin. Nazanin's yes. uh, swimsuit thingy. Yes. And you were a little, um, a little standoffish. Mm -hmm, for sure. So, okay, here's the thing. As a regular viewer, I don't know what was, was happening. Right. I know things get cut out and cut down or whatever. So, what was what was your issue, or did you not have an issue? Were we all misinterpreting your your face and your um, body language? You know, to be honest. I'm one of those people, like, I definitely wear um, my feelings on my sleeve. My face will tell it all. Okay. And I had been through some incidences where I just felt like Chantel was on and off and wishy-washy with me, and I really don't like that. Gotcha. To me, that's, like, bad. You know, I just, I'm like, girl, I don't want to guess if you're going to be my, if I'm going to walk up and you're going to be cool today or if you're going to be a little weird. I ain't got time for that shit. So when I get in my mood, like, I'm like, okay, I'm just, Put the ice wall up. You are frozen in time, my okay. nigga. And I just get very, like, cold, you know? Okay. And my dilemma was, you know, me and Nazanin are just becoming friends. And I'm like, you don't really know a person. So some of my friends will be like, girl, if you don't feel like being here, you don't want to deal with somebody, don't come. Right. Other friends will be like, girl, you be I don't give a sh You better be here. I'm that. I'm that. Right. Yeah. You're like, I don't care. But don't F her. Like, right. And so, you know, I really... um you know, it happened so fast that I wasn't really able to have that conversation with her. And I was a little nervous about it because I'm like, should I just save face and just go so, show up and support her? Or should I just be like, girl, oh, I want to be around everybody. So was it something that happened or you just you, just your feelings for her at the, just from other experiences were like, I'm just really not. Feeling yeah, it was girl, just so an accumulation like, okay. of that weird energy. Like, are you are we friends or not? Right. I don't want to guess. OK. Got it. <laughs> right. And it's like, I don't have an, an, an invested interest in our friendship because we're not that close of friends. If right. it was a close friend, I'd be like, girl, what's your issue? Right. But we're not close like that. So let's chalk it up to the game, girl. So did, like, did I miss the end of the episode? Because I feel like she said, it was like the energy shifted, yada, yada, yada. You just were kind of looking at her. Did some, Was something said after that? Because I, I, when I went to the next episode, I'm like, did I miss? <laughs> Wait. Did they have a conversation about it? Like, uh. did you guys have a... Did you see the episode? Yeah, I did. You're going to see more. Okay, we'll see more of that. Yeah, okay, cool. you're going to okay. see more. It's definitely going to play out and you'll get... Is this going to happen at the club? No? It's going to happen I, later in the season or something? Girl, it happened a few times, so I don't really know okay. when you're going to get it, but it's definitely been... It's going to get got, get had. Yeah, you know. Okay. Um, why is Chantel not your type of people? Um, I just don't like wishy-washy behavior. I, every time you see me, it's like I'm going to be the same person through and through. Okay. Hey, girl, how you doing? Because yeah. that's been our relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, girl. You know, I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm not doing the guessing game. Yeah, okay. Enough of that. Can, let's talk tits. <laughs> tits. <laughs> let's, let's talk rest. Well, let's talk tits. So, so um, I watched the episode, and you were, first of all, I was surprised because, like, again, I keep saying you've been around for a while. You're not new to this. So yes. I, I was like, I'm surprised she hasn't done this before. <laughs> Right. to do it but so so you wanting to get your breasts lifted what's well, the what, like how does it go because i heard let me tell you what i heard okay let me okay so i heard you can't just get them lifted i heard that if you get them lifted you have to usually put like a some sort of implant in at the same time right okay so here's the thing i had very high titties okay. where i had the baby okay small but high oh they were on record okay. huh? you had boobs yeah i had record. nice yeah. boobs it's on record that's exactly. record, yeah. record. because i did i had really nice like Normal boobs. Well, I don't have boobs. Right. Well, girl. <laughs> no, I That's really don't. Okay, we go ahead. Really but don't call it normal because <laughs> I don't have them. Okay, go ahead. Well, they had a nice medium, medium size. Boob. Okay, okay. And it was more. They were just full. Uh huh. And after the baby, 
and it wasn't terrible and like fried eggs uh-huh. you know it wasn't that bad mm-hmm. but I'm just used to having like more of a profile yeah so my thing is I want fullness again like yeah. I want to get the, and I haven't had the need to do it before I was very comfortable right. with my breast before I had the baby so it's like after I just feel like I want I don't want anything new as far as like I don't want to have them out to here okay. and I just want my same physique right did you breastfeed? I did. Okay, so that really, I heard. It does. And and, and it's interesting because it's not, they weren't as bad as most people that you see. Mm-hmm. Like, with the breast Yeah, my, my, one of my close girlfriends. Girl, it was scary. <laughs> scary. It, it was, it was, it was like, unfair. Mine weren't that bad. Mine, yeah, mine aren't that bad. They, they, they you know, mm-hmm. nice little. Yeah, but it's not, they weren't how you came in the game. No, okay. and it's like there's all, enough stuff that I can't get back. At least let me. So did you do it? Get some titties. You're going to see. I'm going to see. Okay. Have you gotten any other work done? Um, no. Uh, fillers? Yeah, oh, yeah, girl. What about, is it, are fillers the, um, the thing? fillers? Are, yeah. Are, are those? Fillers, like, um, now, girl, now we're getting Hold educated on, okay. on the. But listen, so is, so when people say I had, my, what do people get? Injections. Yeah. Both sides. Both sides. Are those That's fillers? Filler. Okay, so you had fillers. That, I've had fillers, okay. yeah. Um, lips? Just a little, hell. Your lips are really full. I was going to say, you no. got a good lip. Yeah, I got a good lip and a good butt. Okay. Now, those is God given from my mama and my daddy. We can, we can go look at them <laughs> and be like, those, oh, those are on record. Natural. Yeah, those, record. those are on record. Okay. So we've had fillers. Mm-hmm. What, what else have we done? Um, That's it. Okay, and um, then the boob thing is. Some lash extension. The lashes look good, though. Thank you. Okay. Um, enough of cosmetic work. Do you feel like you have been thus far accurately portrayed on the show? Um, yeah, I do. Okay. What do you think has been the uh, most challenging part of this entire process? Mm, the most challenging part. That's a good question. Let me think on that for a little bit. Okay, we'll come t- back to that. Yeah. If you guys... Um, do get a second season. Is there anything you would do differently? No. I feel like I went in the game like, look, I'm going to speak what's true to my heart Mm -hmm. and under any circumstances, even if I look crazy because nobody else gets it because I can't tell the story. You know, they have a certain amount of time to get the story down. Mm -hmm. Not everything makes it in. But I was willing to take that risk because I want to feel like at the end of the day, I did everything to the heart of me, to who I am, and I was honest and truthful full about it, and I could sleep at night. So I don't have any, you know, like I you can't control. I, I do me 100% of the time. So whatever they got, either it was said, it might not have been the right context, whatever, but I can own a, as long as it's the way I feel, I'm 100% cool with it. Okay. What's been the most uh, challenging thing for you to watch that you've seen thus far on the show? I think just the chop, like, not seeing everything that happened uh-huh. in the scene, I think that's been the hardest part. I'm like, no, they got to see, they got to see, you know. And it's like, girl, they got to tell the story. Yeah, get, we don't have time. We only got time to yeah, see everything. Don't. Yeah, but you'd be feeling like, well, that would explain it. They would understand. Okay. So, <laughs> um, off topic. What's the coolest thing about being you? Um, the coolest thing about being me. I just sleep good at night because I'm just like 150%. I know I'm a leader. Um, I'm not a follower. I feel good about the decisions that I make. I feel good about the direction of my life. Like I live for something bigger than myself, mm-hmm. and that makes me feel good. I'm just like, yeah, I'm out here fighting the good fight. Yeah. You know? I was on, I, it was either your Instagram Live or your sister making good Instagram Live, and I think her husband was preaching. Yeah. He was like, preach, brother. <laughs> Girl, hello. <laughs> so, because so, you know what, I am, I am extremely humbled and and honored that because I'm really proud of my family. Like, yeah. you know, every single person, my husband, my sister, my brother in law, my mother. You know, we really are people who who live to try to see other people do good right. and just you know, and it just feels good. I'm super super proud. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. I'm trying to raise my son that way and. You know, I'm I'm proud. So yeah, yeah grab it. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me ask you. I was gonna. I was thinking about this because, you know, you seem like a super loyal, um, go hard kind of person. When your sister goes through bad things or backlash, like people have an issue sometimes with how she dresses. The fact that her husband is a, mm-hmm. is a pa- minister, pastor. I don't know the correct. Yeah, he's he's in that realm. Yes. 
How, do, when you see things, people coming at her, I feel like it's died down as of lately, but I feel Absolutely. like it comes up every once in a while. How do you handle that? Are you Do you, like, jump to her defense? Do For you, sure. I'm a bulldog. Okay. For sure. Anybody in the eye will eat your face. Yes. Like, you know, it's it's one thing on social you're the media. Oldest. I am. Yes. I'm the oldest. That's a different. To mind. attack, like, yeah. um, you know, online, but you won't say it to my face. Yeah. And, you know... I, no, I'm a bulldog for my sister. That's my heart. That's my dog. Like, that's my best friend, you know. Yeah. Besides my husband, it's like, that's my best friend. Yeah. I'll kill you. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of what I gathered. So that was kind of <laughs> um, How do you handle, your husband is an artist. He's a writer. He's a producer, too. Yeah. How do you handle some of the, like, um, women, you know. Right. Like, how do you kind of handle that sort of thing? You know, I don't have to. My man is very, like. You know, he, I don't feel like I should ever be in a situation where I have to handle the situation. Right. You know, he'll definitely let it be known. Any disrespect, we're not having that. Keep it pushing, Ma. Any hand, gro you know, he's very, um, I just don't feel on the defense. I feel like, you know, he protects me. Um, and we're so, like, on a mission. That's That shit is petty. Like, I'm not even... That's not even in the realm of my mind or his mind because we are on a mission. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that stuff is, is like high school. Okay. Oh, girl, my man. Girl, he's my husband and I'm not worried about it. Right. Okay. Um, before I let you go, general questions I ask everyone. When is the last time you've been in a fight? <laughs> a physical fight. Oh, girl. Um,. You know, that's a good, I feel good now because a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have been able, able to answer this. Um, it's been years. Um, I ain't gotten a physical altercation in about this. It might have been at least 10 years probably. Oh, that's good. good. Around there, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, favorite time of day to have sex? I'm a night owl. Okay. I like to get it in the wee hours. Oh, sorry, your name is Okay. Um, the rest of these are PG thirteen questions. Um, last time you cried. When's the last time you cried? Um, the other day when that woman's um, son passed away, I couldn't. I was crying uncontrollably. Um, least favorite thing about marriage. Um, I wouldn't say least favorite, but I would say most challenging. Challenging thing would be figuring out how to be one. Like taking the two and being one. Oh, girl. No, it's we. It's not you. <laughs> it's we. It's you me. know what I mean? How long have you been married? Um, three years now. Okay. Um, w out of the three years, what's, what year has been the most challenging? Uh, not really any. It's been, honestly, I think we were both ready, ready. It, okay. You know, so it's been smooth sailing. We was, like, looking at the first year, like, is this going to be the right? Crazy? They say, for, they say they first, say year, first year is the first hardest. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they usually say the first year is the hardest, but it was, it's going to be a breeze. Nice. <laughs> um, biggest fear? Um, oh, spiders. Really? I'm a arachnophobia girl. I would embarrass. Random. It'd be embarrassing right now. <laughs> I just can't do it at all. Even Did something happen when you were little? I don't know. Okay. But I just, okay. Um, one celeb that you dated no one knows about. Oh, no. And they'll still never know. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping. Because it's hard to date for you. I, I, we were digging. Right. You know what? It's funny because I've, and the crazy part is I've been in long term relationships. Yeah. So it ain't like it was like, oh my God. But I think too, you know, it's just. It's, let it go. It was many, many years ago. We were digging. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, you digging. Um, the biggest misconception about who you are. Um, I don't know. I think some people think I'm a little. No, that'd be true. Um, I was about to say like aggressive a little bit, and I mean aggressive like passion. I'm very passionate. So I don't know. Misconception. Maybe that I'm just so goody goody. I don't know. Mm. You don't get mm -hmm. that. I don't mm -hmm. think that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm no, that's digging. fine. You don't know. <laughs> Um, best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, I would have to say, from my godfather, um, I had like this nervous breakdown about my first boyfriend, my little breakup, and kicked a hole in his wall. Keep in mind, my, my uh, godfather does not go upstairs for nothing, for years, okay? He would not go upstairs. He heard that bathroom wall, he came up there, and he just said, don't do irrational things in temporary situations he was like what did you what did that fix 
And I was like, nothing. He's like, and so and what difference did it make to him? Nothing, no, I don't know. And that day I just really learned like to kind of rationalize before I got extra stupid. <laughs> and cause I'm like, what does it change? You right, know? yeah. Um, craziest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? Craziest rumor. Okay. <laughs> um, favorite ratchet song? Ooh. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I mean, of course, Cardi B, you know. Oh, yeah. But also, No Limit, the one with her and G's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's it. Hey. I like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, last question. <laughs> if you could add, ask God one question um, and he would answer loud and clear, what would you ask God? I would ask God. I would ask God, I don't know. Damn, that's a really good question. Sorry. You got me on that one. I would ask God, what would I ask him? If he could say loud and clear, like he's answered, like a genius. Yeah, bottom? like he's like right here. And you're like, God, blah, 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 blah. And he's I'm like, like God, can we just wrap this shit up and move on to the new world because it's getting extra crazy out here? He's like, no. He's like, no. But yeah, okay. Okay, that's a good one. Um, is there anything else we can talk about that you want to talk about before I let you go? Uh, I think you hit everything. everything. Yeah, it was really cool. good. Okay.